who abides in Jesus Christ, bears the fruit that the Father wants. Wednesday of the fifth Easter week. This talk and meditation is prepared by Father Jeremy Habiarimana. First reading. It was decided that they should go up to Jerusalem to consult apostles and priests about the controversy. Reading the Book of Acts of the Apostles 15, 1-6. Some who had come down from Judea were instructed the brothers, and then you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. There arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them. It was decided that Paul and Barnabas and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about his question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church, as well as by the apostles and the presbyters. They reported that God had done with them. Some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, It is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see what this mattered. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 121 1 to 2 and 3 to 4. Let us rejoice to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. Now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoice to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. The Gospel He who abides in me, and I in him, that bears abundant fruit. Reading the Holy Gospel according to John 15, 1 through 8. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and the Father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me, as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burnt. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers, Today the Lord Jesus Christ, dead and risen, clearly tells us what we have to do to bear fruit and thus survive in him. What is the most important of all the teaching of Jesus Christ of the Church? Remain in Jesus Christ, live in Jesus Christ, and may Jesus Christ live in us. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him that bears abundant fruit. Without me you can do nothing. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like the branch and it dries up. Then they pick them up and throw them into the fire and burn. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask for what you desire, and it will be done. With this, my Father receives glory, with which you give abundant fruit, so you will be my disciples. We must remain in Jesus Christ, and He in us to produce, to beget other Christians to bear fruit. It is really Christ who does it. 
Without him, we can do nothing. Jesus Christ tells us that each tree is known by its fruit, so we cannot call ourselves Christian if we do not bear fruit. Jesus Christ also tells us later, With this my Father receives glory, with which you have give abundant fruit, so you will be my disciples. The disciples of Jesus Christ bear fruit and abundant. We can ask ourselves, Am I a disciple of Jesus Christ? And if I am, what fruit have I given? Have I helped someone to become at least one person during my entire Christian life? At least one person. It would be little, but at least it is a sign of life. Because Jesus Christ warns us, Every branch that does not bear fruit in me plucks it, and whoever bears fruit prunes it, so that it may bear more fruit. Those who do not remain in me are thrown out like the branch, and it dries up, and they pick them up and throw them into a fire, and they burn. The word of Jesus Christ are always fulfilled in our history. The saints are lived bearing fruit, and after their march to the Father, they continue to hear to bear fruit, while those who gave nothing were torn away. For example, heretics who damaged the church and bore bad fruit and continue to do so are dry branches. You are already cleaned by the words that I have spoken to you. Stay in me and I in you. It is a mystery of salvation. Jesus Christ acts in the lives of those who believe in him, bearing fruit, converting others. If we do not remain in him, there is no fruit. And if there is any, it is because we are in him. If Jesus Christ is in us, he himself speaks from us. His words are in us. If we are not in him, there are no words of Jesus Christ. When someone does not love Jesus Christ, he cannot say any of his words. Even if he has heard them, he cannot repeat his words. It is a gift of the Holy Spirit, although sometimes we don't realize it. Jesus Christ speaks from the heart of those who remain in him. And those who are not in him, there is no word from him. They cannot speak in the name of Jesus Christ. They cannot even say his name. They cannot. What a pity. And it's a mystery. May Jesus Christ, by the prayer of the Virgin Mary, give give us his Holy Spirit, so that he may convert us and transform us into his true disciples, who bear abundant fruit for the glory of the Father converting others by his word, for his works, for his testimony, for his life, for his presence. Glory to you, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us.